I have been using this Dyson V8 vacuum for over six years now and it works flawlessly thanks to its top-notch quality and second I maintain it on a regular basis in this video I'm gonna show you how you can clean up the unit and by disassembly all these components in this area and additionally clean up the brush so hopefully you can have this machine running for many many years to come okay it's very easy uh, two things you should really wash the filter on a regular basis just a simple twist and a pull uh, you, you will be able to remove these filter cores the, the pre-filter and the H e P HPEA filter just rinse them uh, under cold water that should be fine then I'm going to disassemble the um, uh, cyclone let me remove these other stuff the pool like this the dust will be on the on the desk which is ex expected and depress this little plastic tab and you can remove the cast uh, the canister or the dustbin then depress this red button there you can remove the cyclone easily so that's everything you need to know and the battery will last maybe two three years or even five years depending on how you use it I wouldn't recommend using the max mode all the time but if you have carpet that's what you gotta do but for me I have hardwood flooring I replaced the battery twice and I'm on a third-party battery right now so coming back to the um, cast of uh, the uh, dust uh, cyclone thing you can totally wash it no problem just it consists of metal and plastic material uh, again just run it through under uh, tap water it should be fine and just keep the water in there and shake it so that's how you clean it and uh, make sure you dry it for maybe up to 24 hours um, just to make sure it's completely dry sometimes I just leave it on my air vents and same goes here it's just plastic part you can totally wash it there are metal contacts inside so you got have to make sure it is completely dried before you can use it and, and same goes here um, as you can imagine if they are they have moisture content in there it's not gonna work well and it may damage the motor so and this part cannot be washed you have to uh, just use maybe a paper towel and clean up the dust that's all does not require any additional maintenance okay let now let's put it back just reverse the action and insert it like so goes in pull up install the dustbin yeah clicks in very simple straightforward there you go insert <coughs> this uh, filter core and put back this cab by simply twist it will lock then let's come here I have three cats so the um, well there, there will be a lot of hair tangled down there you gotta use a coin so usually I'll just use a coin or a flathead screwdriver Just turn this switch then I will have access to the roller to the soft roller as you can see I already have a, a bit of hair down there so I would clean this thing maybe every three to five days depending on um, you know how many pets you have or hair you have on the ground uh, just you, you need to find the balance and sometimes you may get uh, debris or whatever stuck in there that may reduce the efficiency of the soft roller so you definitely want to use a screwdriver or something um, you know skinny or long longer pry bar to you know pry these things out you can totally wash this but be careful this part has is motorized which means um, it makes it draws power there so it's electric so be very careful don't get water in but usually I would I would wash it I have been washing it for the past six years I ha had no issue at all still works 
I, I'm, I'm not sure if it is watertight, probably is not. So do this at your own risk. Uh, be very careful uh, or just use a, you know, damp tower to uh, clean up all the dust. But I, I've been washing it. That's based on my experience. Probably shouldn't be done like that. And um, the manufacturer will certainly will not, uh, you know, uh, encourage you to do that. Just put it back. So totally can, um, it, this part, this soft roller brush can totally be washed with soap. No problem at all. So just take it off and wash it. And there will be uh, a lot of hair tangled down there. I, I don't, I'm not a big fan of this design. I think this should be done better with maybe uh, like comb design with lots of um, teeth to clean up um, all these things. So it not get tangled down there or have a larger space for the little wheels. Uh, anyway, um, that's the only complaint for this part because sometimes when you get a lot of hair down there, it, it just doesn't roll very smoothly. Um, yeah, maybe it's just me, I don't know. Uh, works very well. Let's clean it up. Yo, very efficient. I highly recommend this uh, vacuum. And for this tube, I usually don't clean it at all. I just let it be or just clean up the dust. You know, it, there is really nothing to it. There are metal contact points. Again, be very careful. You make sure you dry it up before using it. Yeah, this is a fantastic machine, still valid six or seven years later. Uh, I, I believe it was released back in 2017. Yeah, this is my first cordless vacuum. Highly recommend it. Thank you very much for watching.